So the purpose of this video is to show you how to add students to your course and how to make student groups. So log in and you're going to go to students, manage students. Um, you should have a roster of all of the students that are in your course. You're going to have to pull them up individually by searching for them. Um, I'm going to use myself. Once you click on the box next to the student's name, you'll see a menu of options pops up. We're going to do two things. We're going to enroll the student in your course and then we're going to add them to a group. And the reason you need to add them to a group is because when you go to go to your dashboard to view um, your students, it, the dashboard will show all students unless you specifically filter for a given course or a group name. So if there's a course Algebra 1 that many, many teachers are using and on your dashboard you filter to view that course, you're going to see everyone's students. By adding them to a group that you name, you can filter and look for the students in your dashboard under that group name and you'll be able to see just your students instead of everyone that's in Edgenuity. So we're going to start by enrolling in the course. There's a lot of courses so it helps to filter by subject area. You can see here there's far less courses that I have to pick from. I'm going to add myself to this test dummy course that I added. Clicking enroll at the bottom. It'll tell me that I've enrolled this student in the course. I click enroll. I'm just going to click skip and duplicate. All right, so the student's been added to the course. That was it. We're done. If I go to this student now, I can see that they're in that test class. So I'm going to go back to the last page where I was at. I'm going to go to students. I'm going to pull myself back up. We're not done yet. When I click on the name, I enrolled myself in the course. I also need to add myself to a group. So I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call it test group. You can call it whatever you want. Algebra 1, period 1, you know, whatever name you want. I'm going to click save. And now when I go to click on my name again and I go to add to group, in my drop down menu you can see I have a test group. And then I got to click the plus sign to add myself. So now I have been added both to the course and to this group. So now when I go to reports, my dashboard, my dashboard right now currently shows Algebra 2 students. I'm going to click out of that and I'm going to select the group that I called my test group. And by doing that, what it's going to do is it's going to pull me up. As you can see, I've now been assigned to the test group. And I've already done this, so that's why I'm appearing twice. Normally, the student would just appear once. Um, but I had already added myself to this group. So um, yeah, you're now able to see this student. Every time you go reports dashboard, it's going to pull up your test group until you change the group to a different group. So let's say I want to go back to um, a different group like this. It's going to switch my screen so I see totally different students. Um, and that's how you add students to a course and give them a group name so that they appear on your dashboard.